Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your December 2017 monthly reading. This is for the sign of Scorpio. I do want to remind you that this may not resonate with you, okay? It may not resonate because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is a general reading. Bits and pieces may, bits and pieces may not, all right? I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Time is fluid. I'm recording this in November. So it may resonate in November. It may resonate in December, as intended. But it could resonate in January, because time is fluid. Generally, my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. This is supposed to be a general reading. I will zoom this in once I get them laid out. If you want to know more about me, you can check out my welcome video or you can watch my Let's Talk episode episodes, um, which I will be doing nearly nightly and I do have some of them up there shared if you want to know more about me. I do have to keep my name in view because somebody's been thinking my videos are theirs. So apologize for having to do that. Karma's a bitch. We all know it. Some people obviously don't, but we do. All right. And I do have to move it because it has to be in view. I do truly apologize. I have ordered a template, by the way. But anyway, the basis of your reading is the Three of Wands, okay? Oh, it's the Two of Wands. I'm wrong. I thought it was the Two of Wands. I don't know why I said that. The Three of Wands must be, must there must be a reason for that. But anyway, because I knew that was the Two of Wands. That's interesting. Anyhow, the Two of Wands, the door is opening. Okay, a door is opening for you. Um, I think that you worked hard for this door to open. I think there's a change of course, all right? And it definitely has something to do with a commitment. Either you're in a commitment now and things are changing or you could be um, starting something this month, okay? A door could be opening. I do see stability and security here, which is fantastic. I see, um, it looks like a beautiful reading, just have to tell you right off the bat. I do feel like there's been some deceit, okay? There's been some deceit, but I think it's over now. Maybe somebody felt like you were being deceitful, or, you know, maybe you were being deceitful, or somebody else was being deceitful. There is some deceit here. I feel like there has been somebody who was feeling unloved. Okay, they were feeling like they weren't getting the love that they desired or you weren't offering the love. Okay, because we have that four of cups right here. Somebody wasn't giving or getting the attention that they needed, whether it be you or the other person. Okay, um, it just feels like there was some discontentment and somebody was looking for some more. Okay, somebody was looking for more. And I think it has to do with love. I believe that your strength and your confidence has really prevailed, all right? And I think this month it really, really pays off because you have been so steady, all right? You have been steady, and that is opening a door for you. I feel like things are starting to, you're starting to feel like whatever's going on is more dependable, more stable, more secure than it has been in the past. It feels like for many of you, your wishes are coming true. Okay, they are. I think there was definitely some instability, but I think this month it's going away. I see a very happy, um, comfortable, aligned commitment. Okay, I feel like whatever was going on behind the scenes was bringing you closer to building that stable foundation, whether it's within yourself or with another person. 
Something was going on behind the scenes that was making somebody feel deceived. Okay, but it while that was happening, it was building at the same time. It was, okay, we have the moon here next to that deceit. This is something going on behind the scenes, which basically has a higher purpose, okay, it really does. And it just is bringing, you know, whatever this was, this, this deceit, it could have been, I don't think, for some of you it was actual deceit, but for some of you it wasn't. For some of you, it was a feeling of being deceived, okay? Maybe somebody was feeling like they weren't being loved or they were never going to be loved or they weren't good enough or that they were satisfied, okay? Now, maybe it was you, maybe it was the other person, all right? But I feel like that's over now and the stability and the alignment is back, okay? I think the structure is back this month. That's what the change of course is. Now we don't have the three of wands here, but we have the two of wands and the four of wands. And that's why I mentioned the three of wands. I mean, it goes right in between these two cards. It really does. So the three of wands is about expectations. Okay. About the future. I think that somebody had expectations that were unrealistic. Okay. And that was either within a commitment or at your job or something. But there were unrealistic expectations that have now been worked out. That's what I see. Because I see stability and security here. I see a completion of instability. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it feels like for some of you, there's an offer of love. Okay. There, uh, perhaps there's a growth in your relationship. I, and I think that is the case for many, many, many of you. That this new door is, is growth in the relationship. And with this moon card, remember I said there's something going on behind the scenes. There was something that needed to happen so that the growth could happen. That's what I'm trying to say. I think a foundation has become stronger for many of you. Many, many, many. But not for all, because this isn't for everybody that's watching it. All right. So I do feel like somebody um, is was or is feeling imbalanced, okay? They're feeling like things are out of whack. There could be some addictions here. I'm not sure if it's you or the other person, but there could be some addictions that somebody is healing from, okay? There is also a focus on um, letting go. Okay, and surrendering. So I think many of you are either letting go or surrendering or your partner is and that has aided in the growth. I just see a lot of growth here. Just just want to let you know. I think the strife in your life is is going away. I think that and I think it's going away because you've worked on it. You've really put in the effort. You have. It's like you never gave up. Okay. Um I do see some some unhappiness here. So for some of you, if you are going through some ha unhappiness or you were, I think that is going to end. I really do. I think that stability, security, happiness, contentment, and alignment is in order for this month of December. I do. I just, and many of you could be receiving some money. Just saying, you could. Um, maybe it's well um, overdue, all right? I do see some money here could be coming in for some of you. Some of you could be receiving that new partnership if you aren't with somebody or a resurgence in a relationship, okay, where the relationship um, steps, steps up or gets better after a time of stress, okay, of feeling deceived or maybe even some lies. I mean, sometimes, you know, Lies and deceit bring growth. They actually build this, the foundation. Okay, I'm not saying that's happened to everybody, but for somebody. You know, sometimes that's what happens. Something needs to come out on the table for growth to happen. Okay, but I do see that structure is coming back. So that's absolutely wonderful. I'm going to start shuffling for the next poll while I am talking. Um... Uh, you have definitely been devoted. You've been devoted to whatever change was needed, and it happened because of your inner strength. All right, and now a new door is opening. 
All right. I feel like where some of you may have been feeling like there wasn't much um, communication or people weren't, somebody wasn't compromising or people, somebody wasn't working well with you. I think that's over. I see working better together. Okay. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I would love to have you join me for my Let's Talk episodes on YouTube. They're live at night if you're interested. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's true. Well, I figured it would be. Anyhow, your stability and your security is coming back. It's like you worked on it. You did. You did. You put a lot of effort into a relationship. And this could be love or this could be work. But I can see that you put a lot of effort into it. And now a new door is opening for you this December 2017. The end of strife is it's over. It's over. It's time for a new path it is it's, it is it's clear a uh, one phase one door has closed and another one has opened for many of you <laughs> wow that is amazing it is for some of you somebody from your past could be coming into your life somebody that it doesn't mean you dated them in the past if you're single Somebody from your past could be coming back into your life that you knew when you were a child, okay? Or you dated a long time ago, and I'm not talking about a year ago, okay? I'm talking about a long time ago. And the thing is, is um, you, if, you have, if you have dated this person in the past, you, um, forgiveness is key. Forgiveness is key, all right, because this we have forgiveness here, this three of swords. Remember, the cards all mean so many things. I believe that you guys have worked hard on healing. You Maybe yourself or, your, or the other person. You've put a lot of effort into something. It's either yourself or another person or your job. I see that many of you have put a lot of hard work, effort, time, um... <laughs> into something you've used your your inner wisdom you've used your past suffering and hurt it to your advantage in this case you have you learned from that past suffering and you were able to um, use your compassion to get through whatever this is because long time ago you built that up and now you were able to use it in your favor on that you know that was your life experience that you were able to use to help this situation your past life experience really aided you in opening this new door seriously okay we have this completion here that is wonderful it's a completion of struggle I think your last year, 2017, has been a struggle for many of you. And I feel like it's absolutely over. This death card tells me that there's a transformation on the horizon for some of you. All right? There is. It's a time of renewal. All right? It's amazing. It really is. I think for some of you, you know, your prayers have finally been heard. Finally. Perhaps you've been wishing for a the feeling that you felt years ago because I feel like some of you are just reminiscing about the past. That doesn't mean you want to go back to that past relationship. You're reminiscing about a past feeling of love and you just want to go back to that feeling. Okay, or you're reminiscing about the beginning of a relationship and how good it was and you want to go back to that. 
and be and because you wanted to bring that love back you really put in a lot of effort to bring it back you did it you opened the new door by being persistent and not giving up i see that your persistence has prevailed your inner strength your <laughs> the work that you've put into something, you have really given it a lot of effort. And I think a foundation is really becoming more stable than ever before in your life. Whether it's with another person right now or it's within yourself, I see a foundation that is really becoming more stable. Okay? I see alignment here. A lot of it. Alignment. I think your suffering has brought you wisdom. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. And this represents you, by the way. Your transformation time is either now or in the very near future. Okay, I see many of you are, are going through a transformation that is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. You are having an effect on somebody, okay? You really are. And it's a positive one, okay? A positive effect that brings happiness, peace, contentment, and alignment. And you put in the work to do that. It's almost like you are a healer. You have helped somebody to heal. And I don't know if you guys can see my goosebumps, but uh, it's the truth when, when your reader gets goosebumps. So you guys have helped somebody to heal. Okay? You have. So, really, your suffering has helped somebody. It's unbelievable. It really, I mean, my goosebumps are big. I don't know if you can, you probably can't see them, but I can. I can feel them. Both arms, all throughout. Getting you an angel guidance card. Woo! I always say that, by the way. Assertiveness. This is an angel daily guidance card from Doreen Virtue. This situation can be healed gently and with love, as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. And this is exactly what you have done. It's absolutely the perfect card for you. I really can't think of anything else to say. <laughs> I, I can't. And that doesn't happen ever. So um, this is... Pfft. You did it. You are somebody's gift this month. You are. This is for Scorpio, the month of December. Talk to you later.